came and tucked you into my heart. Oh, you look at me in ways I never loved. With you, I know that this is all, so I don't need to take it slow. If you want me, then I believe that there's a simple remedy. We don't need no miracle. I think we've seen it all. Just make the go. I'll go running over. We don't need no miracle. It's unconditional. If you like tech and stuff, then do check out our new channel. Technomera. Link on the screen and description box below. To create the Luma fade, I will use these clips. So let's put any clip into the timeline. Let's keep the project setting the same. Trim the portions of the clip to up to 5 to 6 frames from either of the sides. Now let's put another clip for the transition into the timeline. And again trim its portion too. The reason I suggest doing the trimming because it will allow a smooth continuous Luma fade effect instead of an abrupt one. Basically, when we put a transition in Filmora and our clip starts at the particular position, so when the transition happens, the second clip for a few moments stays still and then starts playing, which actually does not give a smooth transition effect. So if we trim the portion a bit and then add the transition, then it will give us a smooth play effect because it was already in the motion at that time. I guess you get the idea of why we do the trim. Okay then, to add the luma fade, simply go to the transitions tab, into the basic section and then use this color distance transition and put it between the clips. So now if I play it, then you can see the luma fade happening. We can also increase the transition duration for a longer fade effect or shorten it for a fast effect. It is totally your choice. Well, apparently we don't get a custom editing option for the transitions in Filmora. So we are pretty much stuck with the predefined motion of the transition. So even though it is a Luma fade transition, it can't be multi-directional and only follows a particular direction. But to be honest, it doesn't matter that much. Now we can add another clips to use the Luma fade. And the best part is that we can add music to create even more amazing symmetry between the transitions and the clips. And guys, that is how we do the Luma Fade in Filmora. So guys, what are your thoughts on this video? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you think that this video is worthwhile, then hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that I can able to bring amazing videos just like this for you. Till then, see you later. Thank <laughs> you.